I'm Jared Haynes, and this is Rogue Outdoors. Today I want to talk to you about the Magneto Speed Sporter. So this is a chronograph that hooks to the barrel of your rifle. So a lot of chronographs, you set them up, and you're shooting over top of a little window, and it's in a stationary spot. So aiming and you know target sighting in and stuff is a lot harder to do, especially if you're transitioning to different targets. As where with this, it just hooks right off the end of your barrel. So wherever you're aiming, it's going to pick up your speeds as well or at least that's what they say. So we're gonna give it a shot and see what it does today. It's about $175, um, so it's not crazy expensive. Uh, you know, that's a pretty decent price for a good chronograph as long as it works well. So we're gonna give it a shot. This is on a Weatherby Carbon Mark, so it's about an, almost an inch thick barrel. So let's see what happens. The first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna open up the package. So I've already opened this, and it comes with this instruction manual, which is laminated. Really cool feature. Um, you know, a lot of companies don't do anything like that, so you can use this if you're up, you know, in the elements where you're probably going to be using your rifle. Uh, this won't get weathered. And then they have this tight package that kind of slips together. Um, I've, like I said, already taken this out, so it's pretty easy to actually put back in. This is your brain for the unit, just a little screen. Um, these little red tabs on it are you pull those and you get to the battery, and it has a little, like, three and a half millimeter headphone jack up top. That's what the chronograph itself will plug into. And then here is your chronograph, a cord and a little strap. Let's go ahead and put this onto the barrel. So when you read their instructions, it recommends that you use, it comes with these two little rubber plates. One is thicker, one is thinner. On fatter barrels, they recommend that you use the thinner plate. Um, so we're going to loosen up this top cord. And then it says to take this screw on the bottom. You want to back it out pretty far so we have some play bring this down here oh, hooked around my bolt and slip it onto the barrel let's see here and then we're just going to tighten this strap up by hand get it to where it's pretty snug and then we are going to put this little horseshoe part up here uh, put the brake about midway but I don't want the holes on the brake to be back here so get this to where it's pretty tight and then it says to do the fine tuning with that little screw knob down here to really get it so it's not going to move around okay now that we've got it tight on up here we want to make sure that we have clearance from where you're shooting out and one good way they say that you can do that is take your bolt out and then just look through the barrel and see if you can see this um, i've already done that and i'm clear the other thing that you want to make sure is that this isn't tilted up or down at an aggressive angle um, and it's not it's running pretty level so I'm gonna go ahead and plug this into the brains of the device Let's untangle this cord here and when you plug it in it goes through kind of a startup thing it tells you a bunch of stuff your battery um, now one thing that they I called and talked to them about is they said on fatter barrels like this you want to change the um, level that it's measuring at so the sensitivity to high one so I'm gonna I already switched that to high one and we're gonna see what it does because I shot it already um, not on high one just in standard mode and it would not pick up off of this heavy the fat carbon barrel so let's try it at high one and see if it picks up our speeds okay this is my first shot let's see what it does And we have a speed, 2,610 feet per second. That's perfect. Let me show you how this shows up here. It'll, you shoot and it'll blink. So first shot of our span. And it, it was blinking what the thing was. I think if I tap it here. Uh, First shot, 2610. It's giving us our data. And now we're back so I can shoot again from this menu. So I'm gonna go ahead and take some more shots and record some data. Now this is kind of a test of the ammo, but this is Hornady Precision Ammo. And so I'm gonna shoot a second shot and see what we get for consistency on the chronograph. The problem is, um, you know, it also depends on how well they load the ammo.
2650, so that's pretty good. And let me see if I can get this really quick. Come up here. That's how it's showing you. Shot two, 2650, and it'll blink like that quite a few times. And then as for notes, I keep all this written down in here, so all my different loads. As you can see, the first one was 2610 Hornady box ammo off the Magneto. And then here's gonna be the Hornady. This was off of a different chronograph. And you can see how inaccurate this one was because I've shot this ammo before and it's usually within you know, 20, 30 feet per second always. And that's a huge gap. Well, after putting eight rounds through the Magneto speed, um, it seems to be pretty accurate. I'm getting consistent speeds. Uh, it's, this little box just sits out of the way. I mean, you don't even notice it's here. It reads the numbers. The only thing that I notice is when it scrolls the numbers across the screen to write it down um, and look at where you shot and stuff, it is a little bit quick, so you do find yourself having to rerun through the menu. But that's really the only drawback I could find with it. I mean, it's super lightweight. It, you don't even notice it. It packs away really small. Um, here's my numbers really quick on it. So if you look here at the data, you can see that the numbers are pretty close, um, which I would like to say is, you know, the chronograph giving good readings. The problem is, it depends on how good of a hand loader I am. If I'm not consistent with my powder charges or my seating depths or all that kind of stuff, then these numbers could vary and you go, wow, the chronograph's way off. And really it's, you're just not a good loader. Now I double measure my powder on two different scales, making sure that it's the same. I run a pretty strict measurement. So these speeds, I, I believe are gonna be really close to what you know they should be. And so it shows, I mean, these are pretty close groups that the chronograph seems to not have a huge spread just by itself. Um, and this is pretty consistent with other chronographs I've used on these particular reloading numbers. Uh, so I would say that this is a great buy. Uh, looks like it's an item that is gonna be game changing because I can sight in, shoot different distances and get my ballistic numbers at the same time. So. Uh, I hope you liked the video. If you do, please leave a comment down below and subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching.